In this video, I'm going to do a comparison between GoDaddy and Bluehost. And yes, I am fully aware that probably around half of you are already screaming something along the lines, uh, did nobody tell this guy that the GoDaddy sucks? There is no way around their terrible reputation, but I'll try to do my best to be unbiased. So I'm not gonna try to look at the reputation, I'm gonna try to evaluate these companies as a web hosting provider, not as a business. I'm only gonna try to look at the facts. But let's get one thing very clear from the very start. GoDaddy values profits over you, but their web hosting infrastructure is still worth taking a look in my opinion. Right off the bat, we can see that GoDaddy has a much more aggressive pricing strategy. A 3-year plan costs $216, while Bluehost offers almost the exact same features for just $106, more than twice as cheap. What I mean when I say almost the exact same features is that with the cheapest plan from both providers, you will get to host only one website. But you do get to register a free website name, you also get free professional email services to create emails like contact at your site.com and similar storage and bandwidth capabilities. However, Bluehost does give you an SSL certificate for free. SSL certificates encrypt your website and give you this lock next to your domain name. GoDaddy charges extra for this feature, and quite a lot actually. But that's not really a major deal as you can get SSL certificates yourself completely free of charge. And I even have a guide on how you can do that right around here. Honestly, it seems that GoDaddy is trying to shift its focus from web hosting to website builders while still maintaining a lead in the domain name industry. This is very apparent when you visit their homepage and look at the menu. The way these services are arranged is a good indication of their priorities. Domain names are first, followed by their website builder service, while web hosting is a staggering fourth. Both GoDaddy and Bluehost actually offer discounts with their plans, and I try to negotiate special discounts for my viewers. Just as a quick example, if you use the links down below, you can get a one-year plan with GoDaddy for just $12, instead of the regular $120. Using the links in the description, you'll always get the biggest discount that's available online for any web hosting provider. But I do want to be completely transparent and mention that the links below are actually affiliate links, meaning if you buy anything through them, I will make a commission. This is how I monetize my YouTube channel and I want to be completely upfront about it. The best way you can help me if you like the content is use the links down below when making your purchases. You'll get a discount and I can continue making videos full time instead of getting a real job. I have plans with both Bluehost and GoDaddy. So what I'm going to do is simply create an identical WordPress website with both providers and see who's faster, more stable and can handle spikes in traffic better. The website creation process with both Bluehost and GoDaddy was extremely simple. Both providers offer automatic WordPress installation and I had my website up and running completely from scratch in around 5 minutes. I've made the website identical to each other as I mentioned before. Then I used a tool called GT Metrics to test the loading speed of both providers. Bluehost loaded my website in 3.8 seconds with a 1.1 second time to first byte, and GoDaddy was identical. The same 3.8 seconds and 1.1 second time to first byte. The main difference being is that GoDaddy is actually twice as expensive. So why should you pay more? The answer? You shouldn't. You really shouldn't. But honestly, both of these performances are kinda lackluster when compared to more speed-focused providers like SiteGround or A2 Hosting. In reality, both Bluehost and GoDaddy are on the cheaper side and they're not really all that good at loading your website fast. Okay, but this video isn't about fast or who's the fastest web hosting provider. It's about who's better between GoDaddy and Bluehost. So I wanted to run one more performance test. For this, I've set up a test with 50 bots that are going to simulate real users. Then I've sent those virtual users to my website to see how it handles it. 
For example, GoDaddy started to slow down significantly once reaching 50 consecutive users. On the other hand, Bluehost was just inconsistent. The higher user count didn't slow it down, but it had a seemingly random spikes in performance. I thought it just might be a coincidence. Coincidence? I think not! But I repeated the test again and again and got pretty much the same result. So what does these test results mean for you as a user? Well, Bluehost is a little bit more consistent with their inconsistencies, if that even makes sense. To put it simply, Bluehost only sometimes feels slow, while GoDaddy always feels slow when there's a lot of users on it. In my opinion, the Bluehost doesn't really have an issue, it's more of a problem of the specific server that my website is hosted on, and it shouldn't act like that while GoDaddy actually does limit your usage with the cheap plan, so you wouldn't get too many users without upgrading. In my opinion, Bluehost is a bit better suited for website management and offers a lot more features. For example, you can launch Google Ads or add your business to Google Maps straight from the Bluehost dashboard. Also, Bluehost offers website staging completely free of charge, while still in beta, the feature is still quite useful. So, website staging can seem complicated at first until you try and use it. What it basically does is it creates a copy of your website and you can test as many changes on the copy as you want and your users never get to see them. But once you're happy with the changes on the copy, you can just merge the two websites together and it's a seamless transition, you don't need to experiment on the live version. You also get automatic WordPress updates completely free of charge. This keeps your websites up to date even if you forget and you can toggle this functionality on or off. Because sometimes updates actually break your website, so you'll still need to keep an eye on it and not rely on automatic updates 100% of the time. And on the other hand, GoDaddy doesn't really have any special features that makes it stand out from other web hosting companies. It's kind of the vanilla flavor of web hosting. This is where GoDaddy shines. Or does it? GoDaddy actually offers 24-7 chat support and provides phone support in over 50 countries, all in different languages. Sounds awesome, right? Okay, so the problem with GoDaddy support is that it's not actually support. They're marketing agents. I've been doing these videos for quite a long time and I've always seen these same responses from people that use GoDaddy in my community. They call the support with an issue, the support tells them to upgrade or buy additional features and that should supposedly solve the problem. It doesn't. They contact the support again and they say, well, you just need to upgrade more. Because in reality, GoDaddy support, they're not support agents, they're marketing agents. And this even goes one step further, at least for people that live in the United States, because that's where GoDaddy is the most active. I personally do not live in the United States, as you can probably tell from my stupid accent, so I never had this happen to me, but a lot of my community members that are from the United States mentioned that GoDaddy support agents actually call them without a reason during middle of the day to promote their new services or extra features. So not only you're not gonna get help for your problems, they're gonna annoy you with random calls, at least if you're from the United States. Bluehost offers a similar deal with their support as well. You have a 24-7 chat support that you can contact at any time. And you have a couple of numbers to call, one for US citizens, the other one for international customers. But as far as I know, Bluehost only provides support in the English language. And Bluehost support, in my opinion, is a bit of a hit or miss, depending on your specific problem and the person that's supporting you. Since they're a bigger company, they have a lot of users, they need to meet the demand for support. So what happens is they often hire less qualified people and then they train them up through the problems that they solve as they go. So if you get assigned a complete newbie, you're gonna have a bad time. So in my opinion, if you're strictly choosing between GoDaddy or Bluehost, the only reason to get GoDaddy over Bluehost would be their $12 for one year promotion that you can get in the description, as this comes with a free domain name and an email box as well. 
And the absolute worst case scenario, you can still use the domain name and email services for one year with absolutely any other web hosting service that you choose. So it's worth it in itself because domain names usually cost more than $12 a year. And for the web hosting service itself, you can either use it to host some joke projects or use it as a backup if your main web hosting service simply goes down and you need to avoid a lot of downtime. But obviously Bluehost does pretty much everything that GoDaddy is doing, just cheaper and with less marketing tricks to avoid. So if you're strictly choosing between GoDaddy or Bluehost, Bluehost seems like a no-brainer choice. My name is Emmett, you can get discount links for both of these providers in the description down below. I'll see you in the next video.